Hi, this is Dr. Corey with Doc Talk. We are going to go over a list of commonly asked questions. I am the uh, physician here practicing integrated health systems. We focus on chiropractic, functional medicine. We also have a massage therapist on board. And Sean over here will tell a little bit about himself. Hi, my name is Sean Stevenson, and uh, I no longer actively practice, but I handle most of the business operations, the marketing, uh, promotions. Uh, practice management here at uh, Integrated Health Systems. And so right now we have a list of questions we're going to ask each other. Go ahead. Okay. So Doc, how can someone benefit from chiropractic care? That's a good question. There's a lot of different ways people can benefit from the care that we utilize in here. Um, typically if people are coming for neck pain or back pain or even other chronic conditions, we look at the person as a whole. Um, we're looking for any muscle imbalances and what that can do, that can put the muscle imbalance can affect the spine, which can indirectly affect the nervous system. And when there's stress on a nervous system, uh, this is where we found it's helped people with other symptoms such as allergies or asthma. And so the bottom line is when we're adjusting the spine, you're putting balance in the muscles, the tendons, the ligaments, you take stress off the nerves, then when you're taking stress off your nervous system, your body becomes a healing miracle it was intended to be. And so what's beautiful about chiropractic, people that utilize it on a consistent base for uh, maintenance, it can be used for wellness prevention, and what science has shown that it can prevent spinal decay. So it's a beautiful thing. I agree. And so typically, what type of patients do you see and, and what kind of feedback do you get from patients with the type of care we utilize? Well, kind of a funny saying that you hear in chiropractic is, as long as a person's breathing, they can be a chiropractic patient. And that's actually true yeah. because we deal with people from cradle to grave, which is yeah. something you like to say, and we can deal with so many problems. Yeah. We, we're often thought of as back pain docs or headache or neck pain docs, but we deal with everything from wrists and shoulders, elbows, knees, hips, feet, ankles, toes, fingers, you name it. Some of the common problems that people come to us are in fact back-related problems and headaches. But uh, we have all kinds of problems that can stem from stress and pressure on the nervous system, as you were just explaining. So we'll see people with digestive issues, and they won't necessarily come to us for that. But the fun thing is, is when you realign them, yeah. take pressure off the nerves, yeah. and, and the nerves are now operating at full capacity, say to the digestive system, yep. we'll see an improvement in the digestion. Um, but pretty much uh, the most common reason people will come to us initially is for the physical complaints, yes. pain and soreness, things like that. So we also practice functional medicine here. Um, so can you give a brief explanation as to what functional medicine is? Yes. Functional medicine is an approach that's looking at the person as a whole. And it's using a medical model. But typically, what we do is we look at three aspects of their health. Uh, their physical, which chiropractic can handle, what we just discussed. The biochemical, and then the mental. So when someone's dealing with physical functional issues, structure equals function, and if the structure is off, science shows that this can directly affect the DNA, negatively or positively. For example, another example would be, what if someone's dealing with obesity? Well, obesity can put a lot of stress on the spine. It can create a lot of degenerative problems, but obesity can also lead to high blood pressure, high cholesterol. Um, a lot of, it can lead to a lot of toxicity, a lot of inflammation, and you know, worst case scenario, sometimes it can even lead to uh, cancer. Inflammation can lead to more than 200 plus known disease processes. So on the biochemical, this is why what's unique with functional medicine, we look at functional labs, not a static value. We don't look at standard values on a bell curve. We'll look at values that for example, we have one lab called a micronutrient test. Mm -hmm. And what that does is a typical lab f for a blood serum will look at what happened 
today. So if I had a banana last night or I had a bunch of greens, my potassium levels might be high versus a value that we're familiar with would be the, um, the, the AC13 for blood sugars that we'll look at three months back. With the micronutrient test, we're looking at where you are now to six months in the past. And it's looking at the T lymphocytes. So it's not looking at what's going on inside the blood, it's look what's going on inside of the cell at a functional value. So I could find out if, for example, you are deficient in potassium or vitamin Bs or other issues. And what we understand and science realizes that if there's any nutritional imbalances, if there's any deficiencies, it can lead to any disease processes. Mm -hmm. And so by addressing these factors, we use natural approaches. So it's a great complement to what medical doctors utilize to help the patient get heal, or get to heal up quicker, better, faster. But the three things we're focused on is the physical, the biochemical, and the mental. On the mental, what if they're having great relationship with, relationships at work, with friends, with family, things are hunky-dory. But what if there's a lot of stress at work, a lot of stress with your significant other? That can directly impact your DNA. Back on a biochemical, well, there's positive things that we can utilize. What if we're eating organic foods? That's healthy for us. We're drinking filtered water, and we're avoiding uh, non, we're having non-GMO foods. We're eating free-range um, cattle, free-range chickens, organic. We're not having farm-raised fish. Well, when we have farm-raised fish or we're eating other types of foods that are loaded with genetically engineered, genetically modified, and we're eating foods with pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, or what about the waters we drink? If we're drinking water that is in our plastic bottles and we're leaving these bottles out in the sun, then the plastic is leaching in the water. Or how about the regular drinking water supply? There's more than 100 known toxins within these waters. And so we look at where we live here. We have jet fuel that's in our waters. We have xenoestrogens, which is a byproduct of different uh, drugs and medications that people are utilizing, plus the dyes that are going in our systems. There's traces of mercury, there's chlorine, there's fluoride. We can't avoid this, so I urge people to get a shower filter and to use these filtered, you know, get filtered water. But these negative things directly impact our DNA. It directly impacts our cells. It creates a sludge and a toxicity around the cells that impacts cell-to-cell -cell communication, that impacts cell-to-brain communication. It creates an imbalance in the hormones. So using this functional medicine approach is looking at labs to better understand exactly what you're dealing with or what someone else is dealing with. Because we can have two identical twins with the same disease process, but they can have different causes. Because what if one person is living in a different part of the world? They're dealing with different chemicals or toxicity levels. Or what if someone else is dealing with a parasite? So we get a better understanding of what's going on with the body as a whole versus some other approaches where they might only look at the physical. It's this physical cause that's causing your back pain. Or they might only look at the mental. Or they might only look at the, the chemical. And whereas us, we want to look at everything as a whole. So that's why we use some of the labs that we do use. We've partnered with many labs. Um, so my favorite lab that we use is the micronutrient lab that Doc was uh, explaining. And that's really neat because it does give us a six-month window, right? You get a lot more information from from that lab than just a, a standard, <clears throat> excuse me, a standard blood test. Yes. Because we can look at an average over the past six months. Yeah. It's super valuable. Uh, one thing that I find really interesting is when we get those lab reports back on the micronutrient test, when we can see somebody's in the safe zone, but just barely. Right. And so then we can say, you need to supplement with this nutrient to prevent you from getting there. Exactly. What if it's a B vitamin and then all of a sudden there's this huge project at work and a family member's sick and, and, and there's a lot of stress, they'll go into that bad range so we can intervene beforehand. Exactly. I mean, it's, yes. it's, it's a lot of fun uh, to look at that.
Another one is our um, lipoprotein particle size test. I like that test because it's not just your typical cholesterol test. Everybody's heard of good and bad cholesterol, but within the good cholesterol family, we've got bad guys and good guys. And within the bad cholesterol family, we've got good guys and bad guys. And we can actually look and see really specific what's going on. One of the interesting things is uh, one of the individuals that works for the company, the lab that we used, his medical doctor wanted him to go on cholesterol medicine. But when he started working for this company, they analyzed it and they realized, actually, you don't need to be because this test shows that in the bad category, right. you've got very few of the bad guys and a lot of the good guys. And right. so he doesn't need to be on those, those medicines and deal with all the side effects. And that being said, what's happening is that 50, by utilizing this test, studies show that even people who thought to have normal levels, 50% of it is, is wrong. Right. It's inaccurate, That's exactly these right. tests. Yeah. And what's awesome about these labs we've partnered up with, that these are patented labs that are proven and tried time and time again. And so not every doctor and not every healthcare professional has these labs. Right, right. So what other, other types? You know what's cool is some people always come to me and they ask, Doc, how much protein, carbs, and fat should right, I eat? Right, that's a cool test. We, we use this really neat company. Um, and what type of exercise should I be doing? Right. We use this neat company back east, um, Interleukin, and it, it's a genetic test. And with this test, we take a cheek swab, send it back to the lab back east. We get a report back within a week or two, and we can tell what lab, uh, from that lab analysis, we can tell what percentage of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats you should be eating for your genetic type. Also, they give us a report back as to what type of exercise should you be doing. Slow and steady, long period of time, intervals, burst, intense exercise for a short period of time, and then rest. Everybody's different, and we can capitalize on your genetics to understand exactly what type of exercise you need. No, another real neat test we have is a pre-diabetic test. It's a blood test, and we send off to the lab. Uh, 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 we 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 send off to the lab, and then we get back a report that shows a tendency, so we can understand that you are in fact pre-diabetic, and we need to intervene now. Yep. We need to 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 get busy now so that you don't become diabetic. Uh, another neat genetic test that we do is called an MTHFR test. And it's a genetic test, and we can see your body's ability to, to um, metabolize the B vitamins and to utilize them properly. That's a fun test to see uh, how people's energy levels are going to um, fall into play. So mm -hmm. actually, we've seen people with a lot of chronic fatigue, and they've tried multiple different routes. And just by okay. utilizing this test, we found an answer that a lot of other healthcare care professionals haven't been able to find. And just by utilizing not just a regular B vitamin, but methylated B vitamins that actually do the job, and all of a sudden they're living a happier, healthier life that they haven't seen for themselves in years. Right. So yeah. that's exciting. That's exciting. Another test that can be very valuable is a, um, uh, an allergy and sensitivity test. We have a company we've partnered with back east, and we can test over 500 now different food sensitivities, uh, chemical, uh, heavy metal sensitivities, allergies, all different kinds of contaminants. We've actually just had some patients come in from Hong Kong and we actually found that that both of these boys, uh, young boys, had high levels uh, to a detriment of red food coloring. It's really interesting to find that kind of information on them so now we know exactly what to do to take care of these boys to, well, in this case, eliminate what what's causing the problem and what's awesome about these labs people can when we get this information we teach people how to live a healthy lifestyle we look at their eating habits their sleeping habits right. their exercise habits we teach people to be proactive with their own health and their own life so they don't have to see us as frequently so every now and again they get a checkup to make sure that everything is running smoothly and off they go and live their life Exactly. Yeah, it's a lot of fun to, to coach people that way. Yes. Um, and what's unique also about some of these labs you're just talking about, Sean, is that they're, these people, they're patented labs, and they're, the labs are unique to these companies, but my understanding is even with the allergy test, 
is that they're utilizing um, the body's immune system, the T right. lymphocytes. So it's not just a blood serum. It's proven with, with these systems, how they utilize these tests to be way more accurate than your traditional tests. Exactly. So with this accuracy, we can provide for people better care. Right. We're taking out the guesswork. And there's a list of other tests that we do as needed for each individual. So what's your favorite part about working in the office? Or what, what do you love most about working with or serving our different patients? What, what juices you up the most? Well, in a nutshell, the thank yous, in a nutshell. But um, it's not always that simple. When we have people that are, are type 1 diabetics, and they go from 30 units of insulin down to 19. You know, That's four, exciting. 40% reduction. Yeah. And they walk in and say, I've lost you know, uh, 27 pounds. And then they write a card and they have tears in their eyes. That's what, that's what gets me going. That's what motivates me. That's why I look for these labs. That's why we want to work with the best companies is so that we can give that service. You know what I mean? Um, it's, it's, it's the people and the results. Right that really motivate me to make this office as good as it possibly can be. I agree with what you said, and I believe it would be safe to say the one common thing that we both agree upon and share with people is that we promise to do our best. We promise that if we don't know the answer, we will seek out the answer. Right. So what's awesome about we have a whole team of mentors, we have a whole board of other professionals that it's all HIPAA compliant, all, you know, we keep everything private, but we will search out the answer. Right. Just and like and if, we, if we can't help you or we can't help the person, we'll be straight and tell them, like, look, you need to work with someone else who can better help you to reach, you know, your optimum level of health. Right. You know, exactly. fortunately, we haven't come to that place yet at this time, but we will do it if necessary. It'll happen. If we don't know, we don't know. It's the right thing to do, yeah. Yeah. So, so now, tell me about a few of, of your favorite cases or, or kind of typical cases that you really like to work with when, when people come to see you. Well, the type of cases that we've, we've worked with, I mean, gosh, one of the coolest cases that I, I thought we worked with, we had a gentleman who came in and when we were initially just coaching him through his nutrition and counseling, and um, I, I suspected that he had some remnants of fungus and mold within his system, and when we utilized some of our different tests, sure enough, we found out, and he was, to his, to his amazement, he's like, I didn't think that was important. And, you know, unfortunately, he lost um, a portion of his, his, some of his body parts and from the mold and he had a 14% chance of surviving prior to seeing us and the medical doctors did an awesome job to help him regain some of his life but he was sleeping about 16 to 20 hours a day and after going through some of our herbal therapies, our nutritional therapies and, and eating some different foods we got him to actually sleep about, about 7 to 8 hours and in, in the past, he would take about a three hour nap, and you know, as of now, he's taking a half hour to an hour nap. So it helped regain his life. We've um, helped people with different thyroid conditions, you know, even stuff like Hashimoto's, to where it wasn't a direct cause from the Hashimoto's, well, it's an autoimmune, but then when we're working with the people, we found out, wow, they're having an imbalance in their bacteria, their gut. So they had a dysbiosis and their liver wasn't functioning at a full functional level. And what we utilized were different herbs and different vitamins and minerals and different foods to clean up their eating. And all of a sudden their body started clearing out and detoxing. And we've actually had people reduce the amount of medications. In a couple cases, we've had people go off their medications. And by all means, we didn't tell them, you need to go off your meds. We had to tell them, go see your medical doctor. And then let them decide whether or not you can come off. But fortunately, they were able to per order of their medical doctor. We also see 
um, we work with people with type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. And I'm not going to make boast that we heal these people, but the awesome thing is through these different lab evaluations, sometimes we see that people have a vitamin B deficiency. Or sometimes we see that people need to just do a simple detox and all of a sudden their amount of insulin or the amount of other diabetic medication significantly reduces. And we've seen time and time again, which you'd agree, people get off their meds. So we've even seen people with Crohn's disease, with fibromyalgia. Mm -hmm. We've seen people with um, irritable bowel syndrome. A lot of digestive problems. Yep, a lot of, uh, some people with uh, scleroderma, rheumatoid arthritis. You know, we've even had some other people who, uh, people who were just finishing up radiation therapy and, you know, they got the clear from their doctor to come do other alternative therapies and just to help improve with their quality of living where, you know, these people are just beat down and run down and just looking at their lifestyles and getting people on a healthy track. So there's a whole list of conditions that we can see, but the awesome thing is this, when you clean out your body, when you're detoxing your body, you're cleaning out your filters, you're cleaning out your drains. You know, if, if you have any questions about that, come talk to me about it, I can answer them. But when you help your body get stronger and healthier, you become a healing miracle. So it's not that we cure any one thing, we're just helping the body become a better healing mechanism. But we don't like guessing with what we do. This is why we utilize our different labs and our different tests. And as we learn more and more and more, and as different approaches are, you know, we're, we're innovative, cutting edge, to take out the, the guesswork so we can laser in to take care of someone. And so a lot of times we see people miraculously cure, and other times we see people significantly improve their quality of life. Right. And so only God knows how long we're here on this planet. But while we're here, let's live healthy and strong. God willing, I'm going to live 80 to 120 years, but I want a quality of life. I don't want to be laid up in a bed. Right. And so this is why you and I live the lifestyle, and this is why we love sharing other people and, and hoping that they grab it and run with it. Yeah. So it's exciting. So tell me now your, your favorite part. What's your favorite part of practice? What, what makes you walk through the door every day? My favorite part of practice is hoping that I'll be able to impact someone else's life in a positive way. And when I see that happening, it feeds me to want to serve and help more. 